Planning for Florida's transportation future starts today. Forecasting and modeling future travel needs helps us plan and build the appropriate transportation systems of tomorrow. What is travel demand modeling? It's a set of tools that use a blend of observed travel data, socioeconomic information, statistics, and computer software to predict how people will travel in the future. Models are used by planners, traffic engineers, and land developers to plan and design roads, buses, and other transportation infrastructure. FDOT's travel demand model can do a lot. It can forecast the number of trips people will take on our roads as well as when and where they will be traveling, project how traffic will grow in different areas over time, highlight the impact of new development on traffic, estimate how many people will use a new bus or a train service, evaluate different transportation investment options to see which works best to support future needs. Travel demand models use established data from reliable information from trusted sources such as the actual traffic counts and U.S. Census population numbers, proven process with tried and tested statistical methods to forecast future travel. Models produce reliable results. These insights are used by state and local government agencies to make smart investment decisions for Florida's transportation future. Most of Florida's models follow a four-step process that help us create a map showing traffic volumes across all the roads and transit routes in the network. The four basic steps of travel demand modeling starts with trip generation. This step estimates the number of trips generated by residential areas, workplaces, schools, recreational areas, and other locations within the community. The sizes and types of developments influence the number of trips, which can add up to thousands per day in a community or region. The next step is trip distribution, which determines where trips will likely go based on factors like proximity, where people want to go, and travel time. It helps predict future travel patterns and aids transportation planning decisions. Next is mode split. Here, the type of transportation for each trip is determined considering options like driving alone, carpooling, walking, biking, or public transportation. Factors such as travel time, cost, comfort, convenience, and personal preferences all influence the choice of transportation mode. The final step is traffic assignment, predicting the route of vehicle or other mode of trips across the transportation network. It considers the trip's starting point, purpose, roadway capacity, traveler's value of time, and congestion levels to determine the most efficient routes. Shorter trips tend to use less trafficked streets, while longer trips tend to use higher volume roads and highways. Validating and establishing a base year of the model are essential steps in building trust in future year forecasts. We ensure the reliability of a travel demand model by collecting data. Base year validation involves developing algorithms and equations that connect socioeconomic data, such as land use and development information, including census data, with traffic counts. These equations are then applied to projected future socioeconomic data to forecast traffic volumes for future years. Validating the model. Adjusting the model to match real-world observed travel patterns and travel surveys as closely as possible. And forecasting. Applying how economists and planners predict population and jobs will grow, which in turn helps us predict the number of trips that will likely occur. Model outcomes are dependent on the input data and equations we put into it. To make sure that models reflect realistic scenarios, model equations are adjusted by comparing outputs to samples of ground truth data such as actual traffic surveys and vehicular counts. For example, traffic counts collected at various roadway segments to validate and adjust the model's predictions for vehicle flow in that area, ensuring that the simulated outcomes align closely with real-world conditions. Similarly, integrating updated land use forecasts can help refine the model's projections of the impact future urban development will have on transportation networks. Wondering where you can find Florida's adopted regional models? They're available on the Florida Transportation Forecasting Resource Hub, a central platform developed and maintained by the FDOT Systems Forecasting and Trends Office. This hub provides access to FDOT's models and resources, and keep in mind that running these models requires specific, dedicated software on your computer. 
A travel demand model is more than just a tool. It's a roadmap guiding us toward a more efficient transportation system for Florida's future. By using accurate data and reliable methods, we can plan and tackle the challenges that lie ahead. With these models, we can spot where traffic is likely to build up, find ways to improve public transit routes, and ensure that our transportation network meets the needs of our growing communities. This not only makes it easier for people to get around, but also helps us build a solid economy as we move forward together.